So I'm working on another project here. I'm painting the wooden edge cap that I installed on the countertop. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I take a three quarter inch piece of wood like this. I'm going to show you how I apply the paint to it. It's the Rust Oleum brand. How I thin it down, how I lay it, and then not only will you see how this result came about, I'm going to take it to the next level and you're going to see how I can make this look like glass or you can make it look like glass. A reflection of me. It's not bad, huh? Keep watching if you're interested and hopefully this is something that you can learn from and take from it. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could take regular oil-based Rust-Oleum paint and achieve a super high gloss finish. So the key to making this paint job work is you have to thin down the oil-based paint 50-50 with mineral spirits. Now the reason you have to do that, there's two reasons. First thing you do when you thin it down and you lay the paint, it allows the paint to dry very fast compared to putting it on super thick. Another thing it does is it puts it on so thin that it lays itself down flat. So there's basically no runs, but you'll see here, I went a little thicker than I should have, but that's okay, I was able to sand it out. But if you're gonna do this, go 50-50. All right, now it's time for a second coat. Okay, and this is after two coats. So far I have four coats. 
I have my yard working shoes on. So just a couple of squirts of soap in the water. Okay, so this is how it looks before wet sanding. Looks pretty good already. There's no runs anywhere. It's super shiny. Well, over here, I did this end. You can see how it gets real dull. Coming around here. And this is just 600 grit. You can see as it dries, it's getting wider. I just got this edge done. It's still wet, but this is kind of an indication of how it's gonna look. Once the water dries off, the shine's gonna go away. But that's okay, because we're gonna add additional coats. Now, remember, it's a ton of work to wet sand. I'm just doing this little strip, and my arms are already killing me. You can see here, I took it right down to the raw primer. Now, don't worry about that if you're gonna do this, because obviously it's something, there was a hump in the wood anyways, and it would've given you a finish that's not as good as it can be. And another thing, is I'm just doing this edge cap, so I'm not going to worry about doing anything with this top edge right here. I could really care less. I'm just trying to polish this out, and I'll hit this with wax anyways, so it'll shine out. But don't ever, on a radius like this, or any outside edge, don't hit that up with your sandpaper, because you'll take it straight down to whatever you're sanding, whether it's a boat and you're doing fiberglass, or in this case, doing wood. It's the same thing. Now, not everybody's going to agree on the color that I chose. It's red. Like I said before, I'm bringing in the color for my lights in my workbench. This will work with any color, but just to give you a heads up, the hardest color out of the Rust Williams to do this to is the yellow, and red is the second hardest color. It dried pretty quick, it's been 24 hours since I did the four coats. Gotta give it plenty of time to dry. So you can see here already, I, I did it once over, but you can still see some of the original brush strokes right there. So I'm just gonna hit it up again. I'm just gonna do one more pass. And you could already see that made a world of difference right there. I don't have that problem now. The original brush strokes. So I'll continue down a little bit. Do a little bit more. Okay, you can see that's definitely better. Here's one of the nail holes. I should have filled that in better, but that's okay. Not too worried about it, like I said, it's a workbench. So, you can still see after I wet sand, it's not all the way down, but you can see how I came all the way down to the primer in a few places. Those are just high spots, so don't worry about that too much. I'm not worried about it at all. It'll cover up in the next couple of coats. And now that I'm getting closer to my um, paint mixture being 50-50, 50, 50, 50 mineral spirits and 50 um, rust-oleum, now it's starting to lay down flatter and going down smoother. You can see that, that's not a big deal. It's very smooth. One thing I had a problem with up here on the top was this was this blotched finish right here. So I went ahead, it's the only area on the top that I actually did, but it was a big drop. I think I got some mineral spirits on here when I was mixing it and, the, and it dropped on there and it kind of just like sunk in. So I decided to take care of that now. A couple more coats of the paint. That should be good enough that it's not gonna bother me at all. So, not bad, I have to say for a $9 can of paint and a little bit of time and some mineral spirits. I think that's $9 for a small container. Not bad at all. So I went sanded it all as you've seen. It's pretty smooth. So the next thing I'm gonna do, it's been about 45 minutes since I did it and now it's all nice and dry. So I'm gonna take a clean rag, very important. You just wanna get some mineral spirits on your rag. Get it nice and Get a good hefty amount on there. You'll take your, you're gonna take your rag and you're gonna go over 
everything you just wet sanded to make sure that in no way any kind of wax or anything got on your finish. This is going to create a nice bond for your next coat. Now that will dry before I even have a chance to um, start laying the paint. But now I'm going to set up, I'm going to start with a fifth coat now. Fifth coat of paint. First coat after it's done sanding. Now the mixture on the paint is going to almost become 50-50. So that way it's going to lay real flat. 40 mineral spirits and 60 paint. So this is when you want to start thinning it it's out more. It's almost going to be watery. It's going to be like a milk texture. And it's going to take a few coats. And the reason why you want to do this, it's going to lay real flat. And then the mineral spirits will dry and it'll dry real quick compared to if you went thick. If you didn't mix it at all, it would take forever to dry. It would be runny. It would be just not good. This is the way to go. All right, so I'm switching over to a new brush, an inch and a half utility brush. It's just, it says for all paints. My other one's a little beat up. I'm gonna go get some more paint brushes later on, but I wanna get this coat on before I leave. So here's my mixture, like I said, 40% mineral spirits and 60% paint. That's the ratio that I'm at now. It's had plenty of time to dry. It's stirred up pretty good. So, and I'm off. Okay, so remember that when you lay this paint down, first you just want to spread your paint. I'm only doing like about 18 inches at a time. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. But sp spread your paint, okay? Just get it on there. Don't worry about trying to make it perfect at first. Just get your paint where it's supposed to go. Get it on there. Then, once your paint's on there, then you can start working it. Pretty much think of it like you're combing your paint, okay? So I'm combing my paint right out to the edge, then I'm going to come back, I'm going to comb my paint down. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to get, trying to take off some of the excess paint that I put on there. Comb your paint down, because I'm on an edge. Try to get all the runs. It's okay to go back a little bit into what you already started, but don't go too far back. Then, comb your paint up to where the edge is, because it's going to want to run there. Comb it up. And that should be good. I'll do this last edge right here. In the same way, I'll work, here's where I stopped. I'll work this edge where I haven't painted at all and I'll, and I'll make sure I come back to this area right here if any runs do happen. So basically, like I said already, spread your paint. Just get it on where it's supposed to go. Don't worry about making it look pretty right now. Just lay it out. So now that the paint's on, now you're going to comb your paint. So I'm going to do a quick tip. This is a quick tip. If you're going to use your brush throughout the day, I'm going to be using it the rest of today. I'm going to be using it quite a few times more today, at least twice, if not three times. And you want, instead of dipping it in paint thinner or mineral spirits and cleaning it out every few hours, here's, here's a quick tip. You get it nice and wet. I, I just go about three quarters of the way up. Get it nice and wet, like so. This is your mixture. And then you actually just put it in your bag, in a, in a baggie like this, seal it, and forget about it. So it's not going to dry out, and a few hours later, it's ready to go. That's a quick tip. Okay, it's been three hours since I last painted it. After doing the wet sanding, let's give a quick little look. Now I'm going to go for the sixth coat.
Okay, and I just want you to see that as I paint this back one right here, which I already went through, I already got it pretty good. It was wet when I started recording. The, the paint, just like this one that's painted, is just going to lay down flat. There's nothing special about it. That's why you wet it down. This one's already painted. You can see. I'm going to wet sand it for the second time and hopefully that's going to be good enough and then I'll take it to the next phase where I'll buff it and polish it out. I went through here, so I guess I'm not done painting. And I went through there. Well, it turns out the piece of wood that I was using has a bow in it. You can see right now, it's, um, it's, it's going like this. Well, this is the way I was using to sand. Where, where this end and this end was digging into it, so obviously I had to flip it around. This is the side, the upside, and this is the side I'm going to be using. And I even marked it now for the back, so that's good. At least I know why I did that. This is no big deal, it's the end. I'll just repaint this one end, but the rest of it, I'll just use the side with a cup in the center. Hopefully that won't happen again because I don't want to paint anymore. Painting really sucks. I wet sanded it with a block and then I, I went through with just a bare piece of sandpaper like this, no block, and I sanded it like this, wet sand of course. That way um, I could get a little bit of a closer finish. You can see it looks pretty alright. And remember this is only a thousand grit. so. And down here looks pretty good too. This is only a thousand grit. I'll come back through. I'll do another coat of paint. Down here is gonna definitely need another couple of coats on this edge and all this. So like I said, it's not a big deal. All this here, this is done. So if we come over here and I peel some of this back, let's take a look here. This is what I'm going to get. I'll just come back with a, um, a scraper and I'll just scrape off all this little detail here. I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. Okay, so take a look. This is the part that I wet sanded and here's the part I just polished. That's a big difference. 